Buckle up, folks. The AI assistant space is about to get very exciting. OpenAI just dropped a bomb with their brand new chat model, ChatGPT 4.0. It's not just a minor upgrade, it's a game changer with subtle tweaks that makes a massive game changing difference. And it's free for all as well. Oh yeah, they're making this available for free. OpenAI is setting the stage for the next AI battleground, your very own personal assistant. There's a reason Apple have just closed a deal with OpenAI to help them with Siri. Get ready to witness the future of AI in real time. Let's dive in. So last night, OpenAI had a spring update in which they revealed their new chat model, ChatGPT 4.0. And no, it's not ChatGPT 5 like some people expected. In fairness, OpenAI had managed those expectations earlier. But before you start pouting, let me tell you this. This is no ordinary upgrade. It might seem like same old, same old, still ChatGPT 4, but the magic lies in the subtle changes that make all the difference. OpenAI went full matrix on us, introducing changes that are all about milliseconds. But it's those milliseconds that take us into a whole new era of personal assistance. Picture Jarvis from Iron Man or Samantha from Her. Now, that's the kind of AI goodness we're talking about. So what's the big deal? Well, let's just say your conversations are about to get a whole lot smoother, more natural and even more mind blowing. Hey, ChatGPT. I'm Mark. How are you? Oh, Mark. I'm doing great. Thanks for asking. How about you? Hey, so I'm on stage right now. I'm doing a live demo. And frankly, I'm feeling a little bit nervous. Can you help me calm my nerves a little bit? Oh, you're doing a live demo right now? That's awesome. <laughs> Just take a deep breath. And remember, you're the expert here. I like that suggestion. Let me try a couple deep breaths. Can you give me feedback on my breaths? OK, here I go. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa, slow down. Go a bit there. Mark, you're not a vacuum cleaner. <laughs> breathe in <laughs> for a count of four. OK, uh, let me try again. So I'm going to breathe in deeply. And then, and then out. for four, and then exhale slowly. OK, I'll try again. Breathing in and breathe out. <sighs> That's it. How do you feel? I feel a lot better. Thank you so much. <laughs> Not only that, but it's available on your desktop, your phone, your tablet, and it can read slash see your screen to help you out with problems or issues. So ChatGPT will be able to hear me, but it can't see anything on the screen. So I'm going to highlight the code, command C it, and then that will send it to ChatGPT. And then I'm going to talk about the code to ChatGPT. Hey, ChatGPT. Hey there. How's it going? Yeah, it's going really well. I was wondering if you could help me with uh, a coding problem today. Of course, I'd love to help you out. What's the coding problem you're dealing with? OK, I'm going to share with you some code. One second. Sure thing. Take your time. OK, so I just shared some code with you. Could you give me a really brief one sentence description of what's going on in the code? This code fetches daily weather data for a specific location and time period, smooths the temperature data using a rolling average, annotates a significant weather event on the resulting plot, and then displays the plot with the average, minimum, and maximum temperatures over the year. Awesome. Thanks so much. So what's the upshot? According to OpenAI, GPT-4.0 over Omni is a step towards much more natural human-computer interaction. It accepts as input any combination of text, audio, and image, and then generates any combination of text, audio, and image outputs. And here's the really cool thing. It can respond to audio inputs in as little as 232 milliseconds, with an average of 320 milliseconds, which is similar to natural human response time in a conversation. Plus, it matches GPT-4 Turbo in performance on text in English and code, with significant improvement on text in non-English languages while also being much faster, 
as mentioned, and 50% cheaper in the API. GPT-4.0 is especially better at vision and audio understanding compared to existing models. It's that almost human-like response time that makes all the difference. And all of this is now free. Yeah, no subscriptions. You can get Chat GPT 4.0 for free. But for me, it's that almost human-like response time that makes all the difference and feels like you're having a real-time conversation. But you know what else makes this conversation feel real? Emotional understanding and expression in the voice. GPT 4.0 has this in spades. Right, so if you've used our voice mode experience before, you'll notice a couple key differences. First, you know, you can now interrupt the model. You don't have to wait for it to finish your turn before you can start speaking, and you know, you can just butt in whenever you want. Second, the model is real-time responsiveness. So that means that you don't have this awkward two to three second lag before you wait for the model to give a response. And finally, the model picks up on emotion, right? When I was breathing super hard there, it could tell and it knew, hey, you might want to calm down a little bit. You're kind of <laughs> running a little bit too fast. So, you know, it really has that capability across the board to perceive your emotion. Not only that, though, the model is able to generate voice in a variety of different emotive styles. And it really has a wide dynamic range. And the other human quality that makes the conversation feel real and natural, the ability to interrupt. I think OpenAI have used that Google example that we saw a few months ago about how this should be done, or not, as the case may be with Google, with an actual live demo in one times real speed. This was a real hold my beer moment to Google by OpenAI. Because in this live demo, there were no edits, there were no speeded up response times. It was all done in real time, live, on stage. Personal translator, check. <laughs> Mark, io mi chiedo se le balene potessero parlare, cosa ci direbbero? Mike, she wonders if whales could talk, what would they tell us? Um, they might ask, uh, how do we solve linear equations? Potrebbero chiederci come risolviamo le... Math's homework tutor, check. 3x plus 1 equals 4. Yep, Let's exactly. Work. So what's the first step I should take to try to solve this? The first step is to get all the terms with x on one side and the constants on the other side. So what do you think we should do with that plus 1? Okay, I'm going to try to subtract 1 from both sides and then I'll see what I get. Great idea. Perfect. Now, what do you get when you subtract 1 from both sides? Okay, so ChatGPT, this is what I ended up with. How does this look? Spot on. Now you've isolated the term with x on one side, and it looks like 3x equal 3. What do you think we should do next to solve for x? I'm not sure. Can you give me another hint? Of course. You have 3x, and you want to find the value of x. Think about what operation would undo multiplication. Is it subtraction? Close, but think of the opposite of multiplication, because 3x means 3 times x. Okay, I think it's division. Let me try to divide both sides by 3, and let me see what I get. Bingo! Go ahead and divide both sides by 3. Bedtime story reader? Check. So my friend uh, Barrett here, he's been having trouble sleeping lately, and uh, I want you to tell him a bedtime story about robots and love. A bedtime story about robots and love? I got you covered! Gather round, Barrett. Once upon a time, in a world not too different from ours, there was a robot named Byte. Byte was a curious robot, always exploring... I like the way you started this story, but I want a little bit more emotion in your voice, a little bit more drama. Got it. Let's add some drama. Once upon a time, in a world not too different from ours, there was a robot named no, Byte. No, 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 ChatGPT. I really want maximal emotion, like maximal expressiveness, much more than you were doing before. Understood. Let's amplify the drama. Once upon a time, in a world not too different from ours, there was a robot named Byte. Byte so can was... Can you do this in a robotic voice now? Initiating dramatic robotic voice. Once upon a time in a world not too different from ours. 
the way that this natural conversation and response time is achieved is that prior to GPT-4.0, you could use a voice mode to talk to ChatGPT with latencies of up to 2.8 seconds and 5.4 seconds on average. To achieve this, voice mode is a pipeline of three separate models. One simple model transcribes the audio to text. GPT 3.5 or 4 takes in the text and then outputs the text. And a third simple model converts that text back to audio. What that means is that the main source of intelligence, GPT-4, loses a lot of information. It can't directly observe tone or multiple speakers or background noises, or it can't output laughter, singing or express emotion. All these things were demonstrated by chat GPT-4.0. OpenAI trained a single new model end-to-end -end across text, vision and audio, meaning that all the inputs and the outputs are processed by the same neural network. And that is the game changer. But it's only going to get better because GPT-4.0 is their first model combining all these modalities. And to be honest, they're probably just scratching the surface of exploring what the model can do and its limitations. So GPT-4.0 is multimodal. It's as powerful as GPT-4 Turbo and it's free. A few months ago, when Google announced their latest Gemini model, they released a really impressive video demonstrating Gemini interacting with someone using its multimodal capabilities and responding in real time. Everyone was blown away. Amazing. Personal assistant like how we all dreamed of. Until it was revealed it wasn't real time. The video had been edited. Response times shortened in editing. It wasn't responding to what we were seeing. It was all a bit smoke and mirrors. And that was hugely disappointing. But not with OpenAI, as far as we can tell. Clearly, OpenAI had one eye on that Google demonstration and wanted to prove how effective GPT-4.0 is by doing everything the Google Gemini demonstration did in edited form but live. And that's what gives GPT-4.0 real credibility. I mean, there are loads of impressive demos on the OpenAI site, all in that one times real time. Let's look at the problem together. Can you first identify which sides of the triangle are the opposite, adjacent, and hypotenuse relative to angle alpha? All right. So I'm pretty sure this is the angle alpha right here, right? Perfect. Carbs, correct. Now, looking at the triangle, which side do you think is the hypotenuse? Um, Remember really, I'm, the hypotenuse? I'm not totally sure. I think, I think it might be this one, but I really am not sure. This side AC? You're close. Actually, side AC is called the adjacent side to the angle alpha. The hypotenuse is the longest side of a right triangle and is directly opposite the right angle. Can you find which one is the hypotenuse? Oh, okay, I see. So um, I think the hypotenuse is this really long side from A to B. Would that be correct? Exactly. Well done. Hey, let's do let's have some fun. Uh, I'd like you to be super sarcastic. Everything you say from now on is just gonna be dripping in sarcasm. How does that sound? Oh, that sounds just amazing. Being sarcastic all the time isn't exhausting or anything. I'm so excited for this. <laughs> nope, the sarcasm. Let's get this party started or whatever. Absolutely. How about a classic game of rock, paper, scissors? It's quick, fun, and I think and that you don't sounds great. Can you count us in and sound like a sportscaster? And welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to the ultimate showdown of the century. In this corner, we have the dynamic duo, Alex and Miana, ready to throw down. Okay, just count coming. us in. All right, here we go. In three, two, one, shoot. Now, <laughs> show your hands. What did you pick? Who won? Would you look at that? It's a tie. Well, okay, let's do it again. Close. Round two, here we go. Get ready. And three, two, one, shoot. Let's see those hands. Who won? 
And it's another tie. Okay, Each let's do it again. All right, third time's a charm. Here we go. Three, two, one, shoot. Let's see those picks. Who won? And we have a winner. Miana's scissors cut through Alex's paper. Great game, you two. This ability to understand expression, to respond in almost human response times. Sure, there's sometimes filler words like, uh, um, let me think about that. But humans do that while they're processing responses as well. Many's the time I myself would say, uh, good question, buddy. Let me think about it. Pauses for time. That's a natural human thing anyway. Its multimodal abilities are clearly impressive. And sure, whilst a lot of these demos were done in one take, in one times real times, we don't know how many takes they took to get that perfect looking conversation flow. But the live demos at the announcement were a big risk. And sure, they had a couple of flaws in there, but that makes it all the more impressive that they managed to pull it off, which gives all these other demos on their website a lot of credibility. Sadly, the new audio and video capabilities are not available yet, and they'll roll out a new version of voice mode with GPT-40 in alpha with chat GPT plus users in the coming weeks. Plus OpenAI plan to launch support for GPTO's new audio and video capabilities to a small group of trusted partners in the API in the coming weeks. I just wish it was available now and that, you know, you had this kind of shadow drop and everybody could access it straight away. And so we're just gonna have to wait a little bit longer, but overall, pretty impressive. It still has limitations, might get things wrong, but being able to have a personal assistant on your phone, your PC, your tablet, hopefully your smart speaker, means that Jarvis Iron Man experience will be available for all because it's free. It'll be interesting to see what Google reveal at the Google I.O. And I did see a teaser trailer which had something very similar. So I think we can expect something along the same sort of lines. I mean, if Google can sort out Google Home Assistant and get this into my smart speakers now, I'm all in. Anyway, let me know what you think in the comments down below. And don't forget to hit the likes as I like it, YouTube likes it, and it helps people like you find content just like this. And if you're new to my channel, then do me the great honor. Please hit that subscribe button, toggle that notification bell, and that way you'll know when I go live with videos just like this. Talking videos just like this, why don't you check out the videos right here? These ones here. I think you'll enjoy them. Thanks for watching.